Here's what you need to do if you've lost a litter of puppies, whether you've lost the entire litter of puppies um, and they have unfortunately passed away, or even if you've lost one puppy and you don't know the reason why, here's a tip and trick that you need to know when it comes to whether you've lost one puppy or if you lost a whole entire litter of puppies that, you know, unfortunately, if they've already passed on you, at least you can use this so that you can prevent losing further puppies in the future. What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. We're currently on vacation, but that does not stop the videos. <laughs> so even though it's the holiday, we still wanted to bring you guys a video. So real quick, I'm gonna get right to it, right? If you've lost a litter of puppies or even just one puppy, whatever the case may be, and you don't know why, what you can do, and I wasn't even aware of this until maybe a couple years ago, so you can get what's called a necropsy. And essentially what it is, is it's an autopsy for a puppy. Now, the reason why you would want to do that is because of the fact that if you had a puppy that died and you don't know why, it's a great way to find out because, for example, I had a buddy of mine, this was a couple years ago, he was losing puppies like left and right and he didn't know why. His vet recommended that they send, they, they do an autopsy on one of the pupsy, puppies, right, uh, a necropsy. And what they found was that there was actually, he had E. coli going on. Luckily, he was able to identify that it was E. coli and, and prevent it from further infecting any more puppies. Um, but you never know what it could be. I mean, I've heard of stories where uh, they do the necropsy and it turns out that the puppies had, um, you know, the, the brucellosis passed on to them and the whole litter came out dead. Or it could be like a parvo situation. So it's, it's, this is a tip and trick that a lot of breeders and, and just people in general aren't aware of that you can do. And it's actually very inexpensive. When my buddy got his done, I think he paid like 250 bucks. So this is, this is the, how it essentially works. You bring the body to the vet and 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 the vet uh after after the puppies passed away you bring the body to the vet and then the vet will send that body to the local university whatever the local university is in your specific area they're going to go ahead and send that to the university and then a specialist who specializes in necropsies and whatnot will be able to thoroughly go through the body and identify what caused death um so that's just like something that, like I said, a lot of breeders aren't aware of because if you were to do that and you lost the litter, especially if you lost an entire litter, if you lost the litter and you didn't know why, at least it could help you. I mean, unfortunately, yes, you lost the litter already, but at least you can prevent from losing another litter in the future or another puppy in the future. If you do it quick enough, if you say you lost one puppy and you identify that whatever, you know, it may be, you might be able to save the rest of the puppies. So this is just a tip and trick that a lot of people aren't aware of that is super useful and super helpful in preventing lost puppies. Um, so I want you guys to do your homework. If I was you guys, what I would do is contact my vet and just make sure that that's a service that they offer, that they can send the pop, so that they can send the puppy to their local university and actually uh, get necropsies done. And if they don't, then I would reach out to vets that can. So if you ever do come into a situation where you lost a puppy and you don't know why, you can inexpensively have it, an autopsy done essentially. Um, and like I said, it's just more information that's helpful in preventing further puppies from catching whatever you know it may be. Because if you have a puppy that catches something very quickly or is born, say they're, say they're, they're born dead, right? A vet's not gonna take the time to identify what caused the death. They're just gonna say your puppy's dead. So if you do tell them though, hey, you know what? I want a necropsy done then at least the vet will then send it to the university and they'll find out what it was that caused all the puppies to be stillborn, which is, which is huge. So, um, like I said, there's so many different scenarios. Drop a comment down below and maybe you could share a scenario that maybe this would have been beneficial to you and may have helped you, or maybe you've had this done before, you know, and obviously if they do it for puppies, they can also do it for adults too. So that's something to be thoughtful about. If you have a dog that maybe just, you know, coincidentally unfortunately passes away i know this is a tough talk topic to talk about but this is a real you know world scenario where i had even a friend who had an adult actually who um he got the autopsy done and, and found out what was causing his, his dogs to die um and it was because of, like some type of bacteria in his well water or something like that 
So, hey, um, he would have never known otherwise, though. And the vet wasn't able to identify it. So, like I always stress to you guys, it's it's nothing is a loss. Everything is a lesson. So if you even lose puppies, you can take maybe what had happened through a necropsy and turn it into a lesson so maybe it doesn't happen the next time or whatever the case may be. So anyway, guys, um, we want to enjoy the rest of our holiday. So I just figured I'd share this little tip and trick with you guys. Do a little bit of homework, call your local vets, see if they can do necropsies and uh, drop a comment down below with your experiences with something like this. All right, guys. So until I see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks. All right, guys.